What's going on guys, JB Tech here. So today I want to talk to y'all about the Apple TV 2. So as many of you may or may not know, the Apple TV is basically a device that expands your home entertainment system, allowing you to watch movies instantly from Netflix or from your computer and play music wirelessly from your iTunes library. Also stream photos and watch sports and YouTube and all that good stuff instantly to your Apple device, which is connected to your TV via HDMI. But not only can you do that with the Apple TV, if you do own an iPhone 4S or an iPad 2, now with the whole iOS 5 and the iCloud capabilities and everything, you can actually not only use your iCloud to photo stream and do all that good stuff like the music and stream it all directly to your Apple TV, you can actually mirror everything you see on your iPhone 4S or your iPad 2 instantly with an Apple TV straight to your TV, which is pretty awesome guys because this can be useful for many things. And I just want to show you all how this works and how you may be able to take advantage of it. So simply on your iPhone 4S, I'll be using that today. Or if you have an iPad 2, simply open up the switcher right here. We'll double tap on the home button and then we'll scroll over to where we do see the volume section area, whatever. And the AirPlay button should pop up once you are connected to your Wi-Fi network and your Apple TV is connected as well. And then we'll get a little option right here where we'll have to turn this mirror on. And once you do that, you'll instantly start mirroring your iDevice to your Apple TV, which is awesome. As you can see, you can display everything you do on your iDevice to your TV instantly just like that. This works awesome with Safari and because the text does come out really clear. And not only can you use it for portrait mode, you can also do it in landscape mode, which is awesome. You can also play some games and it'll stream them directly to your TV, which is, is a better view if you're looking at a small device or the small screen like this you can actually make a bigger screen with your giant TV because I know all of y'all have those giant TVs now <laughs> anyways you can do that but I did experience some issues because some games are not functional really well with the whole airplay and mirroring thing but there are some games like real racing 2 that are capable of using all these features and everything which is, is actually made to work with all this airplane mirroring which is really awesome but but sadly, I did not have it on this video. Maybe next time. Maybe I'll show it next time. But anyways, just want to show y'all a quick little demo of some games. As you see here, I do have this asphalt racing game, which is pretty legit. I should download this one. I'm okay at this game, but yeah. So we'll basically use our iDevice to control it and just do all the controlling of the car here. And then I crash. Dang. <laughs> anyways. Here's another game, one of my favorite games, NBA Jam. Awesome game. Growing up as a kid, I love this game. But I can see I, I did experience some issues with it, but it's really awesome nonetheless because you can actually just view it in a bigger screen rather than a little tiny three and a half inch screen and stuff. Not only that, you can also stream Netflix, but like I said, you, you can do that with just the Apple TV itself. But I kind of just want to show y'all that you can do the streaming of Netflix from your iDevice to your Apple TV just like that. And also here's YouTube. I just show you a little demo of YouTube and just show you a little video. So that's it for this video guys. I just kind of want to show you all the main functions or what you can do and everything with the Apple TV and just let y'all know what you can do. If you didn't know, maybe, maybe now you know a little bit. But I hope this video helped you out and maybe possibly changed your mind about purchasing an Apple TV or maybe I made up your mind. But anyways guys, I hope this helped out and I hope y'all liked this video. But if y'all do like this video, hit that little like button in the bottom left as always. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for my next video, leave that in the comment section below. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button up top for more awesome videos and jailbreaks and city of tweaks and all that good stuff guys. But until next one, guys, I will catch y'all later. Thanks for watching. Peace.